Hey everyone, Blake's here to the video, my name is Blake's here right now, we are about to check out Hyoyan's comeback with Picture. So, this is Hyoyan's latest comeback after what seems like a long, long time. And let me tell you something, is it just me or have we been really lacking in Soshi music this year? I mean, here we are in August and we're just now getting some music? Like, I think this is the longest drought we've gotten without any Soshi music. I mean, granted, we did have Hyoyan and Sunny's OST for No Way Home, the Netflix show that never aired and is never going to air, and therefore the soundtrack will never get officially released because it was on again and off again on Spotify, but now it's probably never going to see the live day officially now. It stinks. But we're not going to get into that. This I'm excited for because I saw both teasers for this single and... Holy crap, I am loving the sound of this song, y'all! From what I heard in the teaser, and I'm sure this is going to sound amazing from what I heard in the teaser. And it seems like we are continuing the stride of Hyoyan getting less and less views for each comeback. Now, I mean, she was doing good for a while there, up until like dessert and stuff like that, but then the last few comebacks, this just like went way down. I mean, only half a million views in like two and a half days. I got some things to say, but we're going to talk about that after the reaction, so without further ado, let's go! 3, 2, 1, hit playback! Alright! Hyoyeon Picture. Alright, everyone taking her picture, because she's a superstar. <laughs> and now she's been doing all these challenges with all these other people in SM. I know she did it with Boa and a few other people, just Giselle and Karina from Espa. Oh, this build up, yes. Oh man, that sound! Whoa, that extreme hand close up. Nice. That's just been doing a bunch of daring angles lately. Daring close ups. Okay. What's she gonna do with that guy? <laughs> oh, that's set though. Oh man, that aura. The aura Hyoyeon has as an artist is just so good. Whoa! Was not expecting that. Oh wow. Was that CG? I can't fulfill that was. Oh. Them Spanish horns or whatever that instrument is. Oh, it fits her so well. And so do these looks, y'all! <sighs> she making all the Latinas go crazy. The Latinos and Latinas. This is one of those songs that makes you wanna... Like, I can't body roll, so, I mean... That's about as good as all I can do. I don't know how to dance. Oh! Getting that film developed. Hyoyeon. SM. Alright, everyone! 
All right, ladies and gentlemen, Hyoyeon picture. Well, let me just say, first of all, just that sound overall fits Hyoyeon to a T. Like, if Hyoyeon, I'm gonna be honest, if Hyoyeon did the rest of her solo career doing, like, Latin-inspired music and stuff like that, I would be perfectly happy with it because it suits her so, so well. Like, the sound fits her voice, fits her image, just fits everything about Hyoyeon, like, to a T, and quite a bit of SNSD, too, as far as, like, their images and stuff like that. I can definitely see why Hyoyeon has a lot of crazy fans in Latin America. Like, from what I've seen, I literally have seen so many on Twitter slash X and other places, like the YouTube comments, I've seen so many Spanish and Portuguese language comments under their videos, and I'm just like, Dang, them Latinos and Latinas are just going bananas for Girls' Generation in the last several, several years that they've been active. And I'm like, I really hope if SNSD or Hyoyeon or whoever goes touring internationally, then they can make some stops over there because we know it's going to generate a huge crowd. If Hyoyeon does get a DJ gig there, then I'm sure a lot of people will definitely show up. Again, because that just fits Hyoyeon to a T, and like, they, she plays this song, I know they're all going to go bananas over that. Just, you wait. But yeah, I love the sound. It fits her image. And speaking of her image, she looks so good in that video! Like, all the outfits and her hair and makeup, stunning, stunning, stunning. Thank you, stylist, for not doing Hyoyeon dirty this time! Just, oh, she looks so good. And of course, her performance, of course, on point as well. Singing, on point. Everything was on point. Thank you so much for not doing her dirty, stylist team. But you know who is doing her dirty? The promo team. And to an extent, the Soan fandom. And that's what I really want to talk about a little bit. It's just like... The fact that there's all these, you know, all the contract renewals, I'm sure, have pretty much been done. I'm sure it's confirmed by now that Tan, Hyoyeon, Yuri, and Yuna have officially re-signed their contracts with SM, while Sunny did not. Which, that, I, I talked about that in another video, but... It's seriously how Hyoyeon renewed the contract with SM, but the minute she got her comeback ready and stuff like that, the minute this comeback happened, she ended up having to, like, do the live broadcast on her channel all pretty much by herself maybe with one assistant i don't know maybe she didn't have any assistant at all but in one location on her own on a laptop probably in her home with only a two hour notice that is sad and also again the fact that this video has like barely any views after like three days it's just such a crying shame, which I mean, I mean, I get it personally from a marketing and a business perspective. Hyoyeon is not a huge priority. Like, she mainly does DJ gigs and she releases singles. It's nothing that makes SM a ton of money. It's just something to, like, diversify their range of music for publicity reasons, saying we're a multi-genre label and stuff like that. But even so... Do some, just a little bit more promotion than that, because I mean, you saw the results she was getting with, you know, a few years ago with her singles, they were doing pretty good, now they're not doing that good at all. Bump up the promotion a little bit, will you, SM? And also bump up the views we you saw on fandom, like, and I get, again, I get it from that perspective as well, this type of music is not everyone's taste, and I get it. Like, personally for me, I enjoyed this song. I feel like it's not one of my top three favorite Hyoyeon songs of all time, but it is definitely up in the top five. However, I mean, if it's not your taste, fine. But for many in the Soan fandom, I feel like many of them aren't even giving this song a chance. Some people are just like, okay, this is not my taste at all, so I'm just going to ignore it. But even if it's not your taste, just share it on your social medias, though. Because, I mean, if you don't like it, someone else will. And if someone else will like it, then they'll become fans. We'll have more and more Hillian fans, more and more fans in the song community, and that'll benefit everyone, especially Hillian. So, I mean, even if it's not your taste, the song is not your taste, just give it a shot. This definitely sounds different than what she's been normally doing, and if it's not your style, just tell other people about it. Maybe they'll like it, and they'll spread the word as well. That's just my two cents. It's just, 
it's just sad seeing that Helion is just going more and more downhill in terms of views, in terms of sales, in terms of like everything like that. But on the flip side, so happy she's doing all these gigs again. Now that the pandemic is pretty much over, she's finally touring all across Asia and even internationally in a few places. And I really love that she's doing her thing in those types of places because I feel like she's really comfortable in those scenarios and I'm really happy that she's making bank there. And besides, I think we all know the main reason she renewed her contract. Free rent. <laughs> like, I'm not even joking when I say that. She admitted on the show that it, she li basically she lives in the dorm. She's the only one that lives in the dorm besides Yuri who still lives there on occasion. She basically lives at the dorm because they provide like no, they, she pays no rent there. They provide the water, they provide the electricity, they provide like everything that she needs there. So she pays little to nothing really. All she needs is food. So that's a smart way of living. And she says she doesn't plan on leaving SM ever really, which I mean, it kind of stinks because I really want to see SNSD blossom through their own stuff because like we saw with Forever One, they could do everything on their own. And I really want to see them on their own, like with their own label and stuff like that. But maybe logistics wise or business wise or finance wise, whatever wise, it's just not going to be worth doing. So, I mean, whatever makes SNSD happy, whatever makes Helion happy, I'm happy. So yeah, I mean, this is my opinions. What are your guys' opinions? Put it down in the comments down below. Just good song, great video, great looks, and horrible promotion. But I'm hoping it gets better with time and SN does the promotion well and so on be wise in promoting her. So yeah, and checking her out as well because some of them don't even give her a chance. Real talk, okay. This is Blazer, you're watching Ayo Blazer. To the next video drops, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more. And follow me on Twitter slash X if you want to. Link in the description as always. And y'all have a great day. God bless you. Thank you for watching and peace out, my scouts.